welcome to my kitchen vlogs where I share three days of recipes, cooking, and fun in my kitchen. Everyone, it's Monday and today I'm going to make a broccoli and cheddar rice bake and some baked chicken and some sort of salad. I'll show you what I got. But first I have to make lunch for everybody. Today I'm going to make some shells and cheese from Annie's. This is what they look like. The kids like them. Next I'm going to make some pizza dough in my bread machine. I just pop everything in and put it on the dough setting and it's ready in two hours. Now I'm just going to get some stuff ready for my rice bake. I'm just going to shred some sharp cheddar cheese and put some broccoli and rice into this casserole dish with a little bit of salt and pepper, my sharp cheddar cheese, and a can of cream of chicken soup with just half the water. And I'm going to bake it at 375 for 45 minutes. I'm going to get my chicken ready. This is the usual lineup, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder. I'm going to give them a good season and then bake them at 375 for 20 minutes and then broil for five minutes. I decided I was going to go ahead and make some pizzas for snack today, so I'm going to make some pizza sauce and then make some cheese pizzas. I wish I had some different toppings, but I've got nothing else, so it's just going to be plain cheese today. Broccoli and cheddar rice bake just came out of the oven. This was definitely not a hit. I'll eat it, but I got a few complaints, so I guess we'll be making it next time. This is my plate, my broccoli and cheddar rice bake, some chicken, and a tomato salad. Everyone, it's Tuesday and today I'm going to make a veggie fettuccine with some red sauce, garlic bread and a salad. I will show you what I got. I'm just going to get some things chopped and ready and then start making my veggie pasta sauce. I'm going to start by sauteing some onion and garlic and I'm going to use some frozen onion and celery today. Sometimes I freeze my vegetables if I think they're going to go off before I can use them and so that's what I'm going to use. I have a more detailed recipe on how I do my red sauce and I'll leave it in the description box if you'd like to check it out. The only difference is today I'm putting in some carrots. I'm just going to get my garlic bread made. I just pop them into a baking pan and then boil them for a few minutes. It's super easy. And then I'm also going to make a Caesar salad. And this is what my plate looks like. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday and today I'm going to make some crispy chicken wraps for dinner and the kids will have the leftover linguine and I'm going to make some pizzas for lunch. So I will show you what I got. I'm just going to roll out some pizza dough and then bake them for 10 minutes and then put on my toppings. Today I am adding some chicken, some pineapple tidbits, cilantro and cheese. And after it came out of the oven I just added a couple chili flakes. Now it's time to get dinner ready. I'm going to make some crispy chicken wraps with this crispy chicken. I'm going to take a large white wrap and put some Nando sauce on it with some Swiss cheese lettuce and then put my chicken tidbits in the air fryer and pop them in with a little bit of Caesar dressing. And this is what it looks like. I'll show you my plate. I just decided to do Caesar salad again tonight because it was easy and I've really been enjoying it. That's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys next time.